Today's video, I'm gonna show you one of the more underrated route combinations that you can do out of the bunch strong offset. It opens up a little bit for your offense and it can kind of manipulate thirds and deep halves and things like that. So I wanna break this down for you in this video. If you guys wanna get my entire bunch strong offset offensive ebook, it is linked in the description. Patreon members have it. It's my favorite offense that I've ever released because I literally go through and I spend about 15 to 20 minutes with almost every play breakdown and really explain in depth why it's so good, what counters it, and then what is then open. And so it really teaches you kind of a more systematic approach to offense. So if you wanna check that out, again, everything is linked down in the description. Patreon members get access to everything um, in uh, all the eBooks, all the updates. We've dropped a ton of updates, film studies on this, everything. So it's all in the, it's all in the description, all right? Corner strikes the play. We're going to need a slot prints for this. We're not doing double corner. <laughs> um, so I want to talk about one of the weaknesses of Bunch Strong. And it's basically the only weakness of this format. Well, not weakness, but one of the weaknesses of the formation is that essentially, if you think about it, most of the route combos go to the Bunch side. Even the fact that we call Durham, if you think about Durham for a second, while this route combo does go to the left side here, the only problem or challenge with this is it can take some time to develop, okay? And it can cause, like, if they're blitzing you out of this, this could be problematic. So we go back to corner strike. Another thing that we could do is we could maybe motion this running back out on a streak, but that's kind of a dead giveaway of what we're doing, right? Now, of course, you could, you know, you know kind of have an entire five-out system, but in general... The f you, you really don't want to do that, okay? Um, I mean, you can, but it's, it's not good in my opinion. So uh, you want to be able to kind of attack from this alignment to the left side quick so that it doesn't take a lot of time and we can block the running back while we're doing it. So uh, this is the setup that I want you to take a look at here. And basically, I'm just going to play cover three, and we'll talk about why it's really good. Again, the meta this year, most people are pressing out of dollar, and they're either putting that guy in a quarter, a third. If they play a cloud, this is a lot more open. We'll get to that in a minute. But I just want to uh, cover this for you so real quick. So what we're doing here is out of quarter strike, we're going to put our crosser on a uh, or our slot on a crosser, our tight end on a drag. You kind of have a choice here what you want to do with circle. Um, you could either put him on a hitch to playmaker him. You could put him on a streak. I typically will probably put him on a streak, all right? And I'll show you why. So what you're going to see, the main thing here is we have a high-low read to the left side, and we're basically trying to use this crosser to pull the outside third. So it's really important that you run this with your bunch to the wide side of the field. So at the snap of the ball, what you're going to see is that outside third, as Reggie White just totally ruins the video, um, that outside third on the left side is going to be wide open. So let me just explain. We're just going to go seven on seven here. I guess technically seven on eight. But again, set this up. And if you look here to the left side, this third will kind of look like he's going to guard it. And then you can throw it on the sideline. And here's the important thing about being able to throw this on the sideline. You could throw this on the sideline this year. And when you throw passes like this on the sideline, you're typically able to catch them even if they have a KO ability. So typically, this is going to be a wide open throw, and I'll show it again, and then we'll talk about other coverages that they might be able to do uh, to kind of counter this and what they're going to be susceptible to. So what you'll see here, passing down and outside. I'm not freeforming this. I think it's a really hard freeform to make. I'm just simply passing it down and outside. As you can see, I can throw it. Now, let's say that on the left side, they go with a little cover two defense, right? Cover two is pretty popular. So they go to something like this to try to get that cloud flat to stay underneath the C route. This is ultimately a really good thing for us <laughs> um, if they try to do this adjustment. What you'll see is pressed cloud flats this year, they really struggle to defend C routes. You can throw this right over the top. The deep half has to go to the crossing route. And so this is what makes this such a really good combo. Now, the last thing that they can really do in terms of zone coverage, um, there's a couple other things they can do. But from this look right here, this is one of the only things that is really important to discuss. So let's say they go with a curl flat, or um, I'm sorry, not a curl flat, but let's say they go with an outside quarter on that on that corner. This plays it better, um, but you can still kind of throw it, as you can see. You can still kind of throw the C route, all right? So you can throw the C route against pretty much anything that they do as long as you throw it on the sideline. This is very important. This is a little bit of an advanced throw in my opinion. So I really wanted to make sure that I covered this with you guys. If they are running, um, if they're running like deep out zone KO and you're playing somebody that's pretty good, or at least they like, they understand what's going on, right? What you need to understand about this throw, you cannot throw it early. You have to throw it. You, you're, you either want your receiver to catch it or you want it to go out of bounds. Okay. You don't want that interception, but as you can see there, KO good accuracy completed. 
That happens all the time in this game, literally all the time. So it gives us a way where we can attack the left side of the field super, super fast. Now, ultimately, the other thing they could do is they could go with a cloud flat from the slot corner. Now, if they start to go to the cloud flat from the slot corner, this is ultimately what we want them to do. And you'll see here, again, base press, cloud flat with a third. It's not going to guard the C route. What they're going to ultimately have to do is they're going to have to back him off. So we'll show that again. Again, I wish I should. I should have subbed out Reggie White, but we're this deep into the video. I got to keep it rolling. But what you'll see here is pass lead down. See, that's that would be considered early, and you see how the KO can react? That would be what I mean when I say don't throw the ball early. Throw the ball in a way where it's like it's your receiver or it's out of bounds. You do not want the ball thrown in the field of play. You really want it thrown right on the sideline. If you can get that, it really makes this a lot better. So you'll see here on the sideline, just like that. That is perfect. That was exactly what you want to do. And that was a quarter and a cloud. So as you can see, we're able to, we're able to attack that. Um, last, last underneath coverage I want to show, and then we'll talk about some other things they might do um, as you start to run this a lot. You don't want to, this is not a play I would spam. This is a play I would situationally call if I've been, you know, maybe running double corner to the right, maybe run some Durham, but now I want to attack the left and I want to have some pass pro. I think this is a really good play. So here is a press curl flat, as you can see, not able to guard it. And honestly, if you throw the ball out of bounds like that, that's okay. At least we're not throwing the ball. Uh, you know, at least we're not putting ourselves at risk to throw an interception. Okay. So the ultimate adjustment that they're going to need to make, they're going to have to back that guy off and they're going to have to put him in a cloud or they're going to have to put the safety in a cloud. And I'll show both of those by actually just going ahead and putting the safety in the cloud flat. And just so you can see like both of the, it's, it's the same basic thing that's going to occur. But what you'll see is because this is backed off now that guards that, but guess who's open? You're tied in underneath, right? So very, very important. This is going to open up Durham. Um, this is going to open up corner strike, some of those other combos. Uh, and so this also is really good against man-to-man, -man, which I wanted to cover that real quick. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of make shift a man coverage here, but I'm just going to press man with this guy here. And then I just want you to, we're just mainly looking at the C route. You have a lot of other stuff. Like if it's just a standard man coverage, you have your crosser, you have your tight end drag, you have all that. But just really focus in here on the C route. A lot of times, as Barber just totally bags it. Let me go to Spinner. We'll give a little bit better of an example. Sometimes when you actually man people up out of zone, in my experience, they actually play really, really good. So just keep that in mind for your own uh, for your own uh, knowledge. But anyway, you have a high low read, and again, you're you, if if the like if the if the C route's bagged, you can throw the the drag. Okay, you can throw the drag. But what you typically will see here is that's more likely what's going to happen most of the time when somebody runs a man on you. So the beauty of this is it gives us a way to attack the left side of the field quick. We can block our running back, and we're able to, uh, we're able to have this crosser there as well. Now, the crosser, the only real thing I would say about the crosser, one little really, I think, important thing to discuss is another meta defense we're starting to see a lot of people run, which is basically this right here. And if this, either one of these guys, if they're running cover three, essentially, right? If they're running cover three, okay? The crosser is going to get open kind of right in that little void right there as well. Okay. Now it's a real, in my, I just don't, I think the crosser is, is a little too hairy of a read for me, but just understand like you do have the crosser uh, against cover three and we'll show it again here. Here's cover three. You see how I can throw this kind of right in that little pocket. So, and this is more so if they start to quarter the other thing I did want to say, some people, I've noticed in Madden uh, 24 right now, they like to run deep half, uh, like a deep half on the field if they're playing like bunch or something. I like to run a deep half. You'll see the C route just kills it. You can't do that because the deep half has to go to the crosser every single time. So the only adjustment that's even going to give them a chance to stop that on the left is either A, they're going to back off the corner, which is, which is going to leave a lot of stuff open, or they're going to outside quarter. If they outside quarter... You have this, the, the beauty of this drag is it's going to pull the yellow zones down, right? So if they do that, then typically you're going to be able to throw this kind of right in this little window right here, okay? And honestly, ultimately, normally, what's going to happen is that C route will still be open against a quarter. So again, this is not something you call every time, but it's something that if called at the right time, uh, it's really, really, really good. So let me give one last thing. So let's say they hook curl this guy. And they're going to send four, right? So they're going to send this guy. 
Okay. If they hook curl this guy, they almost always, from what my experience, they're going to shade underneath. Okay. And then their user has to kind of sit over here and wait for the running back typically. Right. So they're kind of relying on the hook curl to come down and guard the crossing route. Well, if you take a look at this, you'll see this is wide open in the middle of the field. So it really does a good job of kind of, I guess, like taking advantage of some of the weaknesses of base press dollar, which is why I really have kind of fallen in love with this route combination. Again, it's not an every play call, but it's more of a constraint play that I utilize to open up double corner and open up um, Durham. So thanks for watching the video, guys. If you want to get the full ebook on this, where we actually explain the thought process behind the entire system, make sure you join the Patreon. It's the best place to get better in Madden, in my opinion. It's only $10. It gets you access to every single ebook that I have, as well as all of the updates. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.